More and more people are working from home or simply spending more time at their desk on their computer. That's why we're doing a little series that we call Work From Home Solutions where we'll be reviewing products that we actually use in our home office or our studio office that we hope will make you feel more comfortable, be more productive, or simply just lead a healthier lifestyle. For this Work From Home Solutions video, we'll be talking about webcams. If you've done any searching online, you know for a quality brand name webcam, you can spend between $165 and $200. Our goal was to try to find a camera that was comparable or at least close in performance in the $60 to $65 range. Spoiler alert, the camera we're about to review didn't fit our needs, but stay tuned. This way you can learn why it didn't fit our needs and what you might want to consider when you're looking to shop for a camera online yourself. We'll be talking about the Mimo Day HD 1080p webcam that we purchased on Amazon. So, we purchased it with a $15 coupon for $44.97. When I went out and looked at it again before making this video, it was actually $39.49 with the same coupon. The resolution again is 1080p. It does support voice calls and the adjustment on this mount, which we'll again show in the next slide, does swivel a full 360 degrees. Note here the way it is right now, it is designed the way it's folded to stand on a tabletop. So the camera delivers a 1080p picture at 30 frames per second. It has a built-in omnidirectional mic that supposedly develops or delivers a nice clear audio and tone up to 10 feet away. It has universal plug and play compatibility and when you plug it in to your PC, there are no drivers required, it works right away. This slide illustrates that the base, whether it's on a table or more importantly, when it's mounted to the top of a PC monitor or your laptop, this pivots 360 degrees if it's mounted. If you place it on top of a laptop or a monitor, it has these nice cushions when you open up the tabletop mount that help hold it securely in place. This slide here depicts how you would open up the tabletop mount and turn it into a monitor mount or one for the back of your laptop. So you simply hinge it down and it sits on top of your laptop back or your monitor just like this. I have to say that the cushion does hold it very effectively. Now the next picture over here down here, you can just make it out, possibly if you zoom in, you'll see a little um, black dot. That's actually the micro USB plug. One of the nice things about this camera that I liked is that it did not have, or let's just say rather it had a detachable plug. So you can purchase whatever length micro USB cord to power it that you want. In this case, that's very beneficial for me because I need about a 10 foot cord to power my camera and my setup. Now I'm just going to pause for a moment and I'm going to show you a brief video of me unboxing the product. It comes in a box like this. <clears throat> now, since I'm not a very good packer, I just put the cord on top, like you see here. The camera, here's your directions. And the camera. Comes in this nice plastic. And there it is in relation to the size of my hand. Well, the pros of the Mimo Day are simple. First of all, it was easy to set up with Windows. I did like the clip that um, held very nicely on the top of my monitor. One of the things I will mention is that in the description, it does say that it has a tripod mount for screwing into a tripod. That is not accurate. The cons, well, they're unresolvable. It has a terrible picture. It's not suitable in any application that we wanted to use. We did experiment with it just to make sure that it wasn't the environment. In my desk, I have two monitors, one on one side of the desk when I'm sitting in the chair, the other monitor on the other side of the desk when I'm at my treadmill. So the lighting situation is similar with the exception that there is a window that looks into the interior of a building. So we did try raising lowering light levels, 
moving it on to a different platform. We went from a PC to a Mac. Ultimately, what we determined is the camera seems to be designed and work the best in natural outdoor lighting. Unfortunately, we don't plan to work or place our office outdoors, so this really wasn't suitable for us. Now, this is a picture from the camera that I kept. That was a Nano Shield, also purchased on Amazon within our price range, and I'll be doing a separate review of this. Now, let me show you a picture of the Mimo Day. Now, as you can see, the coloring is off. Actually, just everything is off on this camera. And this is a very accurate depiction of the results that we received. Completely unusable for our situation. I had to return the camera and purchase another nano shield. And so now I have two nano shields which work well for my application. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to comment. Let us know if there's something we can do different. Like and subscribe if you like what we're doing. And if you want to be notified of changes or when we release a new video, don't forget to click that notification bell. Thank you.